it's racing day, so right out here I can't hear a thing. Man, the fans are going wild. And these drivers came to rock, and no place else but Fox knows how to do it in that star style. Buggity, 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 let's go racing, boys! Hey, now, here we go, race day. Don't you be going slow, keep that pedal down on the floor. Push it to the crowd, can't take no more than hair. Since the flag came down, be hair to the last lap around. Well, don't it's time to play. Gonna get a little bit sideways. Hello and welcome to NASCAR on Fox. I'm Eli Greer and today's topic is the spoiler in NASCAR. Recently there has been controversy that the spoiler has been proven to be faster than the modern wing. After biggish testings and time trials at Daytona, Talladega, and Charlotte Motor Speedway, teams have reported that the spoiler averaged over one second per lap faster than the wing. This weekend at Martinsville, all cars will be required to have the new and specially modified spoiler that will be carefully inspected by officials. Now that this new feature is being added to the back of these 800 horsepower roaring machines, we have Jeff Hammond here to explain how this works. Jeff Hammond from NASCAR on Fox. This week's 101 pertains to aerodynamics and how it really applies to a race car. A lot of times the air comes over the back of the rear roof, down the back glass, and what really makes it effective as it comes onto the deck lid, you find the rear spoiler. Now, a lot of you, you'll put a rear spoiler on your car to make it look cool. But when it comes to stock car racing, this thing right here is basically a lifesaver for a driver because this is what puts pressure on the back of the car. Keeps the rear tires attached to the racetrack, gives it that forward bite they need driving up off the corner, and the stability when they're in traffic making really quick moves at over 180 miles an hour. The rear wing, gone, rear spoiler is back, much more effective, much more to the liking of the drivers as well as the crew chiefs. Thanks, Jeff. Now the main reason for the spoiler is to increase the amount of downforce placed on the back of the car. Downforce is the added weight of air that makes the tires grip the track surface and increase cornering speeds. By angling the spoiler to certain degrees, this can increase or decrease the amount of added weight to the car. This helps prevent the cars from sliding all over the track and having good control of the vehicle. Although increased downforce allows faster cornering through the turns, it increases the amount of drag put onto the car. More drag equals lesser speed. So, in order to determine how much downforce the spoiler generates, NASCAR officials use a specific formula. In order to find the force applied, you multiply 0.5 by the area of the spoiler multiplied by the aerodynamic coefficient by the air density and by the speed of the car squared. By using this formula NASCAR teams have recorded downforces of over 4,000 pounds during a race. As we mentioned earlier in the broadcast NASCAR has changed from a wing to a spoiler that attaches to the back quarter panels. Here now we have Larry McReynolds, Doug Richard, Chad Knauss, and Booty Barger. Guys? You know, three years ago in March of 2007, NASCAR introduced at the Bristol race the car of tomorrow that we're still racing today. Well, the unique feature about that car was the rear wing on the back of the car. Three years later, starting in Martinsville this weekend, the rear wing is going away and we're going back to the conventional rear spoiler that we were used to seeing for so many years on our race car. And Doug, it was announced back in the off season that this was going to happen shortly into this 2010 season. And there's been a lot of testing. In fact, teams were at Charlotte Motor Speedway this week, and over 20 teams were at Talladega last week, helping NASCAR actually determine a lot of things about the size of the rear sport and the angle for the Talladega race coming up. Yeah, everybody, you know, when the wing first came out, it's like, oh gosh, you know, what's this wing going to look like? Well, the transition is here. We're going back to the spoiler. But let me tell you something about the wing. This wing right here, if you'll notice underneath, you see these mounting areas right here that bolted to the deck lid. Those same four bolts on each side is what's going to be policed by NASCAR. They have changed the overall claw template to go ahead and police those holes, and they're going to be really stringent on center line location, the size of the hole, how much slop there is. So, okay, off with the wing, and here we come back with the spoiler over here. We hear a roar from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. But uh, you can see right here, this boiler, we, we've seen some in, in, in some of the B-roll that we've had, that it just fits the contour and the shape of the quarter panels. It's bolted here on the back side. Now this spoiler blade is a part number of Richardson Racing Products. That's all, all teams have to use this blade at the track during competition. You can make your own for testing or, or something like that. But this is the shape. This is what we get to see from now on. All right, so the, the size for Talladega, they, they worked on that a lot, and we're going to talk about that here shortly. Uh, what did they actually end up for angle and for height of the rear spoiler at the Talladega test? Well, pretty much all races, including the test that was done at Talladega, it's going to be 70 degrees, and the, the Speedway blade was four and a half inches tall. We started with some extra pieces on the end, but during this test, NASCAR was determining what do we need? What, what will the closing rate be? What do we need for the best competition? And I think we're still seeing some changes down the road there, but four and a half, and you see it right here. Thanks, guys. All right, that is all we have for today here at NASCAR on Fox. Stay tuned in next for Dale Jarrett and his gang as we go to Martinsville Motor Speedway. This is Eli Greer signing off. Thank you and good night.